Well, hello and welcome. Greg Ernie here, and joining me today is Managing Director of the Mount Evelyn office, Liam. Welcome, Thanks, mate. Yeah, cheers. Thanks, mate. Uh, Great to be up in a magnificent part of Mount Evelyn. We're on the Warburton Trail, and um, mate, we've picked a good day to be out. So I thought today, mate, I'd get you up here and we'll have a bit of a chat, and if you can update us on the Mount Evelyn market, what's happening? Yeah, no worries. So. Well, Greg, there's uh, been a fair bit happening within the Mount Evelyn market. Um, we're finding at the moment there's a lot of um, properties around your mid-range. So the medium sale price in Mount Evelyn at the moment is just over 500. I think it's about the 525 region. And we seem to be having a few of those properties coming on. Uh, not a huge amount at either the high end or the low end, but definitely a lot around that middle range. And they tend to be selling really quickly. So. It's really a lot of those properties, it's very rare they're making it to a, a second or third open for inspection. Um, and I really have found that Mount Evelyn, as far as prices, has caught up a lot with some of the surrounding suburbs, you know, like uh, Lillardale, uh, Montrose and, and so forth. And I think largely with all the infrastructure that's been done, I mean, some of the parks and you know, Mount Evelyn's got the skate centre, you've got all the, the coffee shops and cafes and uh, there's a number of restaurants around. It's Mount Evelyn's not the, the sleepy little town that perhaps it was seen 15, 20 years ago, is it? Absolutely. Oh, I remember starting up here uh, about 12 years ago and, and the perception of Mount Evelyn was a bit of a little country town, whereas now it's a lot more like, uh, you know, Montrose or, you know, really you're not far from, from station and, and shops and transport and so forth. And as you mentioned, there's, since then there's been a lot of cafes, um, a lot of shops that have been built. Facilities for kids are fantastic, uh, so you've got a lot of sporting uh, facilities such as the, the futsal and the edge martial arts, the, the footy club, soccer, tennis clubs, so there's quite a lot there. And that tends to be attracting a lot of families into the area. And I think it's um, one of the real true communities. I, I know every time I speak to people in Mount Evelyn, they're proud to say that I live in Mount Evelyn and they, they just love being a part of that community uh, feel. Yeah, and, and that's probably one of the reasons that brought me here, myself and my family um, uh, moved up with the with our kids now and, and we've been living in Mount Evelyn for probably five, six years and yeah, it's great, you can go walk down to the street or go down to the shops and, and you kind of almost know everybody and it's yeah, it's a really good, safe uh, safe area and, and got a great community feel. Yeah, and the um, type of buyers that are buying, what are you finding? Yeah, well again, we seem to be a lot of, uh, a lot of young families, um, uh, still a few first home buyers and whatnot, I guess it is still relatively affordable uh, in this area uh, compared to some of the, the suburbs closer into town. Um, having said that, obviously prices have gone up quite significantly as well over the last couple of years and it well and truly has caught up with other suburbs. But uh, yeah, in the scheme of things it's still quite affordable. But yeah, especially young families uh, seem to be uh, uh, one of the major draw cards into the area. Yeah, excellent. Well mate, thanks for joining us. Just yeah, a, a quick snapshot today on, on Mount Evelyn. Uh, it is a fantastic area, as Liam says, it's a, it's a great place to be, great for families. And uh, if anyone's looking at buying up here, contact Liam and his team and, uh, and we'd be, uh, the team would certainly be uh, more than happy to help. And uh, love to see you at Making Mount Evelyn your place to be. Beautiful. Thank you.